Installing a Baker Products Freeze Purge Valve. First make sure the electricity is off and the pressure tank is relieved of water pressure. Remove pressure switch cover. Test to ensure that the power is off. Disconnect wires from pressure switch and mark for their correct reattachment later. Unthread the bottom of the pressure switch from the nipple pipe and the nipple pipe from the check valve. Use the included Teflon tape to tape both the male threads of the pressure switch and the adapter tee, which is also included in the package. The T should be threaded into the check valve and the pressure switch threaded to the top of the T with the female thread in the middle aligned perpendicular to the check valve after tightening. This is where the freeze purge valve will be installed. Tape the freeze purge valve male thread and place it in the female threads of the T. The freeze purge valve should align perpendicular to the check valve. Teflon tape the male threads of the barbed hose fitting, which is included in the package, and install it into the female thread of the freeze purge valve. If the vent hole is one half inch, thread the included half inch bushing in prior to inserting the tubing. Slide one end of the 10 millimeter tubing over the barbed toes fitting and after adjusting for leak, slide the other end through the quarter inch well seal hole with at least two feet of tubing below the well seal. The lay of the tubing should be a smooth transition from the barbed fitting and the well seal insertion with no kinks in the tubing. Reattach wires to the pressure switch and check that connections are snug, including the pipe connections. Close any valves that were open prior to installation of the freeze purge valve. Turn the electricity onto the pump and check for leaks as the water pressure increases. The well system is now protected from freezing by the freeze purge valve. The freeze purge valve in the water well application does not protect piping downstream of the pressure tank. Exposed piping downstream of the pressure tank should be insulated and are otherwise protected from freezing. A test of the freeze purge valve functionality can be performed by removing the drain hose and the plastic sleeve from the valve. Holding a handful of ice to the valve will shortly cause a flow of water which will continue until the freeze purge valve warms up again. Replace the drain hose and sleeve when the test is complete. The freeze purge valve should not be exposed to temperatures above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The freeze purge valve is designed to protect a pressurized water system. If the cistern loses pressure, the ability of the device to protect the system from freezing is very limited. Thanks for watching.